Howdy folks, today we're talking about upfitter switches. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are, the owner's manual. 2019 Super Duty. That's what I've got. It's 2019 F350. Uh, six seven power stroke. It's a dually long bed crew cab. So flip the page 574. These this is where your information is starting for your upfitter switches, auxiliary switches. Alright, so I ain't gonna read all this stuff, but uh, this, is, this will show you right here your relay box for your upfitter switches. Now, your switches on a 19 are up in the uh, ceiling center console, I guess we'll call it. Uh, the auxiliary fuse box for this, it's got the relays and the fuses for it, all the switches, each switch. I've seen some mixed comments, some people saying it's on the passenger side of the vehicle. Mine, and I'll show you, mine is, like the picture shows, on the right hand, or I'm sorry, the left hand side of the vehicle, driver's side, that is. Uh, and it's got six relays, fuses. And the wires. Now here it is. Uh, switch one through four. They're 25 amp rated, and you have to have the vehicle running for them to work. Uh, switches five and six are 40 amp rated, and there's a little thing you can uh, switch around in there. You can have those either power on with the vehicle running or be hot constant you can have the ignition off and still run them like if you wanted to run a uh, fuel cell pump so that's very nice uh, and that's about all the information they give you that is all the information they give you in the manual now if you pull up your phone you gotta find it if you use your phone you can look up a SVE bulletin for Ford. This is 2017 and later, F series. Uh, vehicles. This is form number Q252. It is a SVE bulletin, special vehicle engineering, bodybuilders and advisory service. And this one gives you a little bit more information. It still gives you the uh, fuse rating, the fuse number. It also gives you the circuit number if you want to look it up in, uh, in a manual if you have it. And uh, the colors of the wires. It is also in the bundle, which I'll show you where that's at, of the wires for the box. It gives you the description of there's another four wires in there one is a run start output at 20 amps one is a battery hot output at 20 amps and there's a PTO two PTO relays for control and output so if you keep scrolling through all this garbage here it shows you where the box is and the wires and right here it shows you to uh, uh, how to switch five and six over to a constant hot. So all you got to do is pull the five amp fuse out. There's a there's three uh, fuse holes, fuse holes like prong holes. The center one's common. 
if you put it the fuse to the left it looks like uh, that'll be ignition hot if you move that over to the right it'll be uh, constant hot with the battery and then down here it gives you all the wiring schematics for those circuits okay we're here at the driver's side of the vehicle there's your battery coolant reservoir brake fluid reservoir and right there between the two of those is up in the corner is this relay box pop the cap off I already had it off this is the uh, relay and fuse box for your switches and that 5 amp fuse right there is the one I was telling you about before for your 40 amps now underneath there that's where the wiring harness comes into this du electrical tape to that is a bundle of wires I think there's 10 of them I'll pull that out one's already being used I just installed something the other day that's that gray and orange one there we go that's your bundle of wires. They're all there's a label on the gray and orange one as to what each one is. Plus, it's in your manual and on the well, not in the manual, but on your uh, SVE bulletin from Ford. Now, they're all labeled. All you got to do, they're blunt cut and sealed off. So all you have to do is strip it back and connect into them. These are your this is where the power comes from your switch so say you have a pair of work lights you want to do on the back just run a wire down your frame to the lights and just connect it here hit a switch and they'll come on as if they're grounded and everything right and installed properly that's simple now say you have something you want to switch on in the interior with those switches or even just pass a wire through the interior like I did my roof mounted strobe light the wire passes into the passenger compartment down the kick panels and seal plates up the C pillar over the headliner and out the third tail light third brake light and up onto the roof that's how I did that so there are pass through wires There are four, I believe there are 14 gauge pass-through wires. Now these are electrical taped to the main harness. I don't know if you can see that. There's a, right there on the firewall, underneath where all your plugs are by the fuse box. There's a harness there. There's four wires, a white, a I think it's a white and a purple, a gray and an orange, and a white and an orange. Those are your pass-through wires. 14 gauge, like I said, and they pass, they just pass through the firewall. There's no connectors or anything. I have my light hooked onto that. I still gotta heat shrink, finish heat shrinking that and tie it up. But let's move on to the interior and I'll show you where they come out. Okay, I'll cut to this in the video because I forgot. So to connect your upfitters wiring to your pass-through wiring, all I do is run wires along the uh, cowl panel here, where the weather stripping is. There's a little lip, and all I did was drill holes, drill a hole in it, tuck the wires underneath, and run it around nice and zip tie it, and uh, I'll do one more. As you can see, and it'll keep it nice and tidy out of the way. If I had a wire loom, I'd prefer to do that and tuck it up in there, make it even look more professional, but I'm out, so it'll do. But uh, yeah, so that's how you how I run the wires from side to side. And leave yourself some slack. If you look, I tucked up underneath. There's a little bit of wiring hiding up under there a loop between these two that way if I need to some slack in the wiring because I need to cut something out or need to move something to work on it that gives me some slack so okay
we're in the interior. Sill plates removed, kick panels removed, as you can see. Uh, your pass-through wires, let me find a flashlight. Your pass-through wires come through the firewall. And if Ford was smart, they'd put it on one of these connectors, so you can just tap them to them there. But no, they're shoved up in the corner. Way up in there. These are them, right there. One, two, three, and number four is used and tucked back in there. But uh, there they are. They're a little bit of a bitch to get to. But you can. Now, what I found makes it easier is if you notice something's missing. Right there. Pull the little cover, AC cover tray thing off from underneath. All it is are these two little clips, push clips. Just get yourself one of those... Uh, One of these little dealy wampuses. It's OEM tools 25313, I think, or 18. We just got this at Harbor Freight or AutoZone, I think. I don't know. But just get in there and pop right off. That gives you easier access. So there you have it. That's your upfitter switches and your pass through wires and how all that stuff works. So thanks for watching. I hope that helped you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more. And as always, stay crazy. Have a good one, people.